Thank you, Chairman, uh, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Appearing before the National Assembly Appointments Committee, the ever calm and collected weekly from Betso Paranya was ready for the task that lay ahead of him. Against you when you served as a governor of Kakamega County. Quenching the thirst of the voting panel and one after the other, the bucket list of questions to ascertain his readiness were unleashed. What is your net worth in terms of uh, wealth? Uh, about uh, 600 million. And full of confidence, Oparanyan laid out his answers bare. 600 million made out of? Uh, mainly is the uh, uh, buildings and houses that I reside in. However, the reality of what has been hitting the headlines caught up with him. The big question of his involvement in a sea of corruption. Yes, he had a reservation on your nomination as, as uh, a cabinet secretary. And they said they had conducted investigations on allegations of corruption, on uh, also conflicts of interest, abuse of office and money laundering. And they did recommend to the DPP that you be prosecuted for those offences. But for Paranya, it is all a political witch hunt. The facts are not true. Nobody, and I want to say in front of the cameras, nobody has come to me to write a statement. I don't know this prosecution is one-sided. I've never, never been given a chance to say my story. In August 2023, when I was in those demonstrations, I was called by someone to be told because I was in demonstration, the ESCC were looking for me. And I asked that person, what has the ESCC to do with the demonstration? I have served diligently for 10 years, I've been a minister for five years. We have had audit reports. This audit report, there is no report that pointed on me as being a corrupt person. And regarding his hard stance against the Kenya Kwanzaa government. In some cases, you may not agree with the boss. Uh, and when you don't agree with the boss in that aspect of the things that we believed in as on our side as Azimio, that this needs to change. If you change, I think the system do not want to change. How will you survive in such a circumstance? Unfortunately, me and you are on the same line before elections and after elections until now we are found together in this place. How will you handle Hustler Fund? It's in that ministry. What do you think you will do? And you know the way we are posted very well, me and you, on the streets. I think this fund, if well, well managed, is a fund that will take our people uh, from poverty. The only problem through my briefing, the only problem is that this fund was launched in a hurry without proper legal structures in place. On Friday, SEC noted that Oparanya still had an outstanding corruption case, despite the DPP having withdrawn earlier recommendations to have him prosecuted. Oparanya is accused of embezzling a sum of 1.3 billion Kenya shillings during his two-term tenure as governor of Kakamega County. He's also accused of acquiring 56 billion shillings in irregular benefits. These investigations that ESEC is talking about are you saying here on camera on open day that you have never written any statement? I'm saying here in the camera that I have never been called to write a statement up to this moment. So I don't know <laughs> even what I'm being accused for. Milia Kisenya, K24 TV.